Hey, what's up guys? Today I want to talk to you about something that's been a problem with creative work on the iPad for a while, and that is color grading your footage. You know that I recommend using LumaFusion to edit on the iPad. It's really the most professional editing app that there is available for iPad right now. Perhaps we'll see Final Cut Pro come out this summer. I don't know, we've been waiting for that for a long time, so we'll see. But right now, LumaFusion is the app, and its color grading tools are minimal at best. And I know that Rob HK, who does a lot of really fantastic YouTube videos on how to use LumaFusion and how to do incredible work in there, he has a method where he does color correction, takes a still, and then edits that still in Affinity Photo to create a LUT, and then he applies that LUT to his footage in LumaFusion because you can use LUTs. And that's a really good workflow, but you can't just color grade an entire clip. There hasn't been a great solution for this. Now, I wanna explore something with you today because Darkroom, which is my preferred photo editing app on iPad, although they have added that subscription recently, which has made me not as comfortable with them, but we'll see. They just added the ability to edit videos and they have some pretty powerful color tools for subscribers or people who paid for the app in the past. So we might be able to make some edits to our footage there and we could really do some color grading inside of Darkroom. And I wanna see how that works today. So let's go ahead and let's take a look at it. This is the most recent Darkroom update. So I have footage here that is just a very short clip so that we don't overwhelm this iPad, which is just the base model from 2018. This is a clip of some ducks and this was shot with an Osmo Pocket in d -Cinelike. so it's a fairly flat color profile, but it's not like log footage or anything. And you can pause the clip up here, and then we have all of the tools in Darkroom that we would have when editing a photo. And yes, I have paid for Darkroom some time ago, so I have all of the features. So we have our regular corrections. So this isn't the same as like using scopes, in like DaVinci Resolve or something like that, but we can color correct just the way we would correct a photo. So that's pretty cool. So let's go ahead and let's just see here. Brighten that up a little. Get a little bit of contrast. Drag our highlights down a little bit. I'm just doing what I would do to try and get this to look as correct as possible. A little bit of vibrance, punch it up. So first we color correct here in the main, we can adjust the temperature. Just give it a slight warmth. We can always see what it looked like before by holding down. And then if we go ahead and we go into our curves, this is where we can start to give it more of a grade. So I'm gonna give it a kind of a medium contrast curve here with my blacks raised up a little bit. My highlights down and then say I want to give this kind of a red look in the highlights I could definitely come here to my brights and give it the red and give it a slight boost in the reds to kind of give it my look there give my shadows a slight little red and then pull this a little bit towards magenta the green curve kind of see what's happening there the eyeball at the top will let us see it just without the curves adjustment Okay, so you can see we're starting to develop kind of a look to our footage, which we just couldn't do before. So let's say we wanna work with these yellows. Let's see what happens. I always like to drag the saturation down to see what I'm affecting. Those greens are actually mostly yellows. So we can try and push those more towards the green side of the spectrum. That gives our grass a better color feel. And we can tap this again to play it through. And that's nice because then you can make sure that it's applying through the whole clip and the whole clip is looking good with that grade on it. So having the curves and the HSL adjustments is really kind of a step forward here in being able to color grade footage on your iPad. So I would recommend looking into this, looking into Darkroom for color grading your videos if that's something that you really need. It's nice to be able to take a flat color profile and look at it like this. This isn't something that I've really done. This was really kind of the first time just looking at it, fairly simple. So you could then export this, bring that into LumaFusion as a corrected clip and then do your edits from there. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video.